we can't uh, talk about that dynamic duo, you and Calvin Baker at Woodside. <laughs> what, what, how did y'all gel so well to get those two state championships? Well, um, I never forget it. We were we were playing. I think it was fourteen and under. Uh, we were at the tournament of champions in, in, in North Carolina, and we had just won it. And that's when the Bob Gibbons tournaments was jumping. Um, and and um, Coach Richardson was our assistant coach, um, who's the assistant coach at ODU. And um, me and Cal were real real cool. So I'm telling like, yo, Cal, you got to come to Woodside. Like we could do this. And everybody on our team would say, yo, y'all can't play together. Y'all shoot too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, as time went on, I'm like, yo, Cal, we should really do this. Because, I mean, me and Cal would spend every summer together, literally. You know what I mean? I'd go stay at his house for a month. He'll come back and stay at my house for a month and we'll just rotate. So, like, that was my guy. You know what I'm saying? And then he he built a relationship with Coach Richardson. And, and, and I mean, the rest was history. You know what I mean? And, then, and I think that we were able to gel um, so well off the court. I mean, on the court because we were so close off the court. You know what I mean? And, and, and to, to this day, you know, as a coach, that's why I do so much stuff with my squad off the court that I do because I know through experience, you know, the closer you are off the court, like it really does translate on the court. It really, really does. That's a fact. Um, what was it like winning that first state championship and actually beating everybody in the seven five seven. It was humbling, man. Um, because I'm not not a lot of people really knew who Woodside was. It was a, you know, it was a new school, and and I never forget it. We walked in Churchland, and everybody like Woodside, like who is that? Like who them <laughs> dude? Like we never heard of that. You know what I'm saying? So the people on the other side of water, they really didn't know us. And then at that time, Lake Taylor had the the, the kid, um, Vincent, the shooter. They had a uh, David Jefferson. Uh, I mean, Lake Taylor was loaded. You know what I'm saying? And and you know, people really thought that Lake Taylor was gonna get us by 30. You know what I mean? And and, and you know, like coming coming into you know the game, we knew like that that we were gonna win that game. You know, we felt like you know after we had played. Um, Ticking and being at Norton that first round to us, that was our hardest game. I mean, we all played together all summer. We all knew each other game. We were like, yo, we get past Norcom, like we definitely gonna get out the region. And then, like, we just didn't feel like no team in Northern Virginia could beat us. You know what I'm saying? So, um, um, like the 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 that that first championship was just humbling because we were so young. You know what I mean? Like, I was a sophomore. Calvin was a junior. Willie was a junior. Um, and then we knew, we like, we was coming back. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it, was, it, it, was, it, was, it was very, very humbling, man, to, to, to really um, come together like, like, like we did. Um, we, had a, we had a couple of slugfests. Um, and, and, you know, I, yeah, it was humbling. It was definitely humbling. And then what was that feeling like going back to back? I know your, uh, what was that, your junior, junior year, y'all played last time for the regional championship and then the state championship. Talk about playing against uh, last town and uh, Percy and all of them. Well, like, I mean, we had, through, through like summer leagues and stuff, like then the summer leagues and stuff were at Grand. And so like, we always battled last town anyway. Like, that was a real rivalry for us. We knew that, like, once we – when we seen last town, like, we had to play. You know what I'm saying? No matter what the score was, they was going to play until 0-0 zero, zero in the fourth quarter. And so um, I think that second year, um, we just – we knew what it took to win, basically. Like, um, we never felt like we would ever be out of a game. Um, we played a really, really tougher schedule. I know that we – we played like Marcus Guignard at Bishop O'Connor. We played Oak Hill. We played North Mac. Like we played a really, you know, rigorous schedule. And the only team that really, really got at us was Oak Hill. You know what I'm saying? So um, we kind of, I think the experience factor um, of us being there before, uh, playing in front of them, nothing but sold out crowds all year long. I just think that. You know we were used to it, and it was a, it was an expectation level. 
You know what I'm saying? We had the camaraderie. Um, the chemistry was there. Um, and and um, we knew that, again, playing, playing against Lanstown and all the summer championship leagues and all that, like we knew exactly what to expect from them. Um, I think after we beat them in the regionals, the regional final at church, like we knew we were sure that we were going to play them again in the state championship. Yeah. Um, and we knew that, you know, when we, when we saw them in the state championship, it would be way tougher than it was um, in the region. Um, and, 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 I mean, it was another classic. You know? So um, those battles, though, man, are some of the best battles that, that, you know, as a player that I've ever been a part of and, and, and some of the most cherished moments that, you know, in my playing career. Talk about, like, walking in church, man, during the regions, man. That shit was crazy. That prepared you for college, man. Yeah, I mean. Every seat for the. Yeah, I mean, it's some, I mean, it's, it's some, it's some SEC gems that don't even give you that type of environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, you talking about, and at this time, you know what I mean? This is when it was only two teams out that would come out. I mean, you talking about. Churchland being sold out. Like we were selling out Churchland. Whereas, you know, after that first night when we played late Taylor, when we got back, you know what I mean? We get off the bus, it's like the news there. We snapping all these crazy pictures. Like we got to wait for them to like make a line at the door for us to be able to get in. And then when we get in, like it's nowhere to sit. You know what I'm saying? So like, we had to go sit in a little hallway by the locker room. Like, I mean, it was, it was for real. Like, and, and I, and I say that to this day, um, um, like the, the, the kids growing up now, they, they deserve that experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get the scope and all that and, 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 you know, playing it at these high, at these other high schools, it, it, it don't compare to Churchland high school. I feel like every regional final four in the seven, five, seven should be played at Churchland. Thank <laughs> you.